most people in the world know what this is, this headlamp, right? I mean, it's literally a light that goes wrapped around your head. This one is from Petzl and they make fantastic headlamps. I can tilt this and it has an auto dimming feature that if it doesn't need to be super bright, it's gonna save its battery and dim itself. And it's got a very wide beam and then also has the red mode and it has the SOS mode and it's a really great headlamp. But today I wanna to talk to you about a different type of light. This is the M2R Pro Warrior from a company called Olight. And this light, this flashlight, is not a headlamp. Even though Olight does make headlamps and lights that actually clip on to regular baseball caps, this flashlight is great, not only for seeing in the dark if you're a travel photographer or someone who does a lot of sunset or sunrise photos and need to have a flashlight that is extremely powerful, this is an amazing flashlight. But it's also a tactical flashlight, which means it can be used as a self-defense product, a self-defense device if you need it. And here's what makes it tactical. One, it's metal. You got a good grip on it and you can really hurt something, someone, if you really needed to. But two, it also has this sort of spiky grip at the end of the flashlight. And this is something that if you needed to, <laughs> would cause some serious damage. Now imagine, imagine if somebody was coming at you and you had a flashlight, let's say it's in your pocket. You can slip this into a pocket and use the clip so it's quick access. You can do it upside down. Uh, there's multiple ways, this, this little clip is very versatile actually. This, this will also allow it to stay on a baseball cap too, by the way, if you, if you needed it to. So imagine if somebody was coming at you, you, you pull it out of your pocket, you've got the grip on it, and you could actually do it this way and cause some damage if you need to. This would hurt. It hurts to just put my finger on it. I can't imagine getting hit by this. So this Olight flashlight is not only just a flashlight, it is also a self-defense product. And I need to remind you as a disclaimer, I am not promoting causing harm to other people. It's only to be used in self-defense to protect yourself or to protect others from being hurt. Now, the next thing I want to show you, if you are prone to seizures from flashing light, please do not watch the rest of this video. I'm not going to aim it at the camera. I will be aiming at the background, but I want you to see what it could do. How powerful, how bright this really is. So I just shut off all the background lights. The first thing I'm going to do is push the button to turn this thing on. And you're going to see it's, it's pretty bright. Now, it looks a little yellow and it is actually not a yellow light. It's actually a very white light, but it looks yellow because this is LED, by the way. It looks yellow because of the white balance I'm adjusted for my key light. One button turns it on, one button turns it off. If I turn it on and I hold the button, it gets brighter and I can hold it again and it gets dimmer. I can hold it again and it gets brighter. There's different brightness modes. I can just hold it and it'll just keep rotating between the brightness modes. If I double click, it goes to the super bright mode. This is also a self-defense. This is extremely blinding. The person will not be able to see if this is shined in their face. Double tap it again, it goes back to whatever the last mode that you had it on. So this is sort of the standard brightness. This is a little bit brighter. And then really, really dim. And then back to where it was. So this is the standard brightness that I like. Double tap, go to that super blinding mode and then double tap to go back. Now here again, if you get seizures from watching flashing lights, do not watch this. Close your eyes. This is what happens if you triple tap. And then you can single tap to exit that as well. So this, and this by the way, gets very hot when it gets into that super bright and uh, flashing mode. The flashing mode is that brightest mode. This flashlight has these self-defense features built in. The super bright, the super bright flashing, and this very tactical uh, tip on the end that can actually cause some damage. But there's something else. You see, this is a rechargeable flashlight and you recharge it by a magnet that goes on the end here. And it turns out that this end piece is also a button. So I can turn it on and it goes to that super bright, that super bright mode just by turning it on. And I believe, I, I have not customized it, but I'm pretty sure you can actually customize your, your double taps and stuff with this as well. So you can actually quickly do whatever you need to from either this end 
or this end, because you got the little button here. So while I always carry this whenever I am doing any sunrise or sunset photos, because you never know if it gets too dark and you want to be able to see where you're going, this is now also something that I keep in my bag, in my photography bag, because of the, uh, well, it's, just, it's brighter than this, really. It, this is brighter than this. I'm going to get the uh, specs in a second to tell you the lumens, but uh, this also has a self-defense stuff. So when I'm doing photography around other people that I do not know, I will be leaving this in my pocket with quick access because you never know if you're in a bad situation. And by the way, the point of using the self-defense is to basically get out of the way, run away, and, and get into somewhere safe. So use this worst case scenario if you have to, and then get the heck out of there. This Petzl headlamp is also USB chargeable, just so you know. It's not wireless, but it is USB chargeable. So the Petzl headlamp that I use, that I've been using for a very long time, is 215 lumens. Just bright enough so you can see where you are walking. But the Olight M2R Pro Warrior goes from one lumens at the darkest to 1500 lumens at the brightest. So there you have it. You could either get a headlamp or it can use one of these and clip it to a hat and you got an even better headlamp. <laughs> that, that's multi-purpose. By the way, Olight makes smaller lights as well. They make pen lights. They make all, a whole bunch of lights, some of which are tactical based, which has these and the safety features like the flashes and the super bright blinding mode. But they've got smaller ones that are, would work even better on a, on a hat. This would be pretty heavy on a hat, really, but you could do it. If you like this video, Click that subscribe button below right now. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't want to miss it. Light temperatures are really interesting.